it's the end of the month and the year. So I'm gonna show you how we did on our budget for the month, how I close it out and start it fresh for the new year, as well as give you an update on our current net worth. There are timestamps in the description box below if you wanna skip ahead to any part. Hey there, Brittany Flammer here with videos all about budgeting and money saving tips for you and your family. I like to use spreadsheets to track our budget and net worth. There is a link in the description box down below to my free budget template, as well as a link to my net worth tracker. Our December budget, if you look our income, uh, my husband's salary, so that's exact. My LLC, this is my business stuff. I do make some money every month, but I'm just putting it into a checking account. Um, we're not actually pulling any out to use for our ex living expenses. I'm just accumulating a little bit to pay for some upcoming business expenses. Side job is my husband. Last couple of months has done a few jobs and he just got paid. So there's an extra thousand and child tax credit is exact. Um, so we had a little bit more income than expected, which means our donations were a little bit more than expected because we made more and we pay a percentage of our gross income. So we paid more, we donated more than we had expected. Um, our savings is all automatic, so most of it will be exact unless we specifically change something. So our retirement was spot on, vacation, our car fund for car expenses is right on. Our house expenses was a lot higher. We automatically had a thousand put in. We added an extra 400 since my husband made that extra thousand. We put 400 of it towards future house expenses. Um, bike maintenance, kids 529, kids extracurricular, and then James cube card, my husband, his he has a cube card, his expenses, his bike expenses, bike maintenance, and his fun money go onto his cube card, and so he uses that to spend money. So with his extra income, we put 500 of that onto his cube card for him. I have a video all about how to use the cube card for free. Check that out in the description box down below. Our boring bills are all pretty fixed, so mortgage was exact, gas is the same every month based on an average, electricity was a few dollars less, city bill was right on, life insurance is fixed, car insurance is fixed, um, phone bill fixed, internet fixed, gas, we went way over on gas. So there are a couple of ways I can handle this. One, we keep a buffer in our checking account, so I can just let it slide and know that we'll have less of a buffer in our checking account or I can transfer money since it was over Christmas and it was part of our Christmas budget, I could transfer money from our Christmas account and put it into our checking account to cover the difference. I also know that next month when I set up our budget, I need to increase how much I allow for gas because it's not enough. Our fund bills, I spent exactly 855 as I use an envelope and any extra I roll over into vacation. So the bottom line right here, we had an extra $5, which is awesome. And here's things to know. You'll also notice the Christmas expense. Our budget for Christmas was about $800, and we have a credit card, and we get cash back on our credit card. We accumulate it throughout the year, let it add up, and at the end of the year, I use that to pay for our Christmas. It was not enough, but it was 400 and something dollars, and the remainder of that I had in a Christmas account. We put a little bit each month into the account, so I just transferred the money from our Christmas account into our checking account. Same for those house expenses. We had some house expenses come up, so I just transferred money from our account for house expenses into our checking account to cover those expenses. Now, it is the end of the year, so I want to copy this and make one for the next year. So I'm gonna control C or command C to copy, create a new spreadsheet, and I'm just gonna paste it. And I'm going to rename this 2022. And I'm just gonna delete all of the actual, the white tabs, the colored tabs have equations in them. So I'm just gonna delete the white stuff. Now I'm gonna go through and make a few changes. Income's gonna be the same. I'm not gonna plan on taking any of my business. Side job's gonna stay the same, but we're gonna delete the child tax credit since we're not gonna be getting that. Now the whole point of this is for our bottom line, we want it to be zero or as close to zero as possible. So we're gonna be way in the hole. So we're gonna to have to make some changes. So since our income is gonna go down, our donations are also gonna go down because we just donate 10%. So that will go down. So that's gonna help it a little bit. 
Um, but then we're gonna have to make some changes. So we're gonna keep our retirement same vacation. We're gonna reduce how much we put into our vacation savings and our house expenses. We're gonna take way down. Bike maintenance will say the same. Christmas, we're actually going to put more into Christmas. I just figure out how much we think we'll spend on Christmas and divide it by 12. We also put our cash back from our credit card. So I kind of guess how much I think we'll have on cash back. I look at last year, how much we got for cash back and then figure out how much we think we'll want to spend on Christmas and divide it by 12. Kids 529, we're gonna take down to zero. Kids Extracurricular and James Q, we're gonna keep it zero. I can just delete emergency savings since our, we are fully funded. Our boring bills are all pretty fixed. Um, our electricity, we have solar panels, but we put them on at the end of the year, end of the summer, so we haven't banked a lot of solar. So I don't think our solar panels will cover our full electricity this month, coming month. And then our gas, we're gonna increase our gas. So let's look at our bottom line. Oh, we're close. We have $17. So that's close enough to zero. I'm just gonna leave everything else the same. Now, four weeks, there are four weeks in January. So I'm gonna pull my envelope and I get 214 a week. Now let's move on to track our net worth. I like to use a spreadsheet and like I mentioned, there's a link down below to where you can purchase mine for a couple dollars in my shop. I'm updating our net worth on the very last day of the month and it's the very last day of the year. Here's our checking account. Now that is way too much to have in our checking account. I like to keep a buffer in our checking account of about a month of basic necessities. So for us, that's about $2,000. We have a lot more than that in there right now, but we per are in the process of purchasing a car and the check for that hasn't gone through. We're also rearranging some of our accounts. So we've been transferring money in and out. That's why we have so much in there right now. Savings accounts have gone up quite a bit. I'm just adding up all the savings accounts we have at our bank. Um, now our emergency fund is way low. Um, we should have more than that in it. We have used several different savings accounts, but Ally's online saving account offers buckets. So you can set up with just one account, you can create different buckets for different things like vacation or your pet fund or a car fund or house expenses. And you can divide your account into those so you can visually see how much you have in different accounts. So I have been rearranging our accounts and I have a video coming out next week all about Ally's online savings buckets. If you are interested in that, be sure to check it out. Our online savings has gone up just a few dollars in interest. Um, we've closed the savings. Our HSA has gone up a little bit. We have not been using our HSA. It's from an old employer, but we have enough in it that we can invest it. So it makes a little bit of interest. Um, so our total cash has gone up a little bit. Um, mutual funds gone up a little bit and these are mutual funds for kids this is meant for like our kids if they serve missions when they're older or for weddings expenses for major expenses for our kids in the future um, mutual funds for a house I'm saving up so that we can buy maybe an investment property or something like that we've earned a little bit my husband's Roth IRA gone up a little bit my Roth IRA has gone up a little bit uh, one of our retirement plans gone up a little bit a different retirement plan actually went down. I should double check to make sure that's not a typo because everything else went up. Um, new retirement plan for a new job uh, has gone up. Kids 529 has gone up. So overall, our total investments have gone up by a few thousand. Our house has gone up in value by a little bit. I have not included our cars. Let me know if you include your cars. I'm thinking that maybe I should but in the past I have not, so I'm not gonna include them now. Um, our debts, our mortgage has gone down a little bit because we made a payment. Our credit card was a lot lower this month and our second credit card for house expenses was lower this month. So our total debt has gone down, our total assets have gone up, so our overall net worth has gone up. So it's at $729,861. Now let's compare this to the beginning of the year. We started off, our net worth was $546. Let's see what the difference is. Let me do the quick math and find the difference. So our net worth has gone up by $183,000. That is an amazing amount. 
Now, our house did go up in value by 100,000 in just one year, which is insane. The housing market's been crazy. But set that aside, we've gone up by 83,000 in just one year. That is so much more money than we make in a year. We have not made a ton, but we have always put money into savings. Every paycheck, we automatically have some money put into retirement. We automatically have some put into savings and investments. So it's automatically done for us and it's just been a little bit but over time it has increased so now we're seeing huge results it's awesome if you're interested in an ally savings account with buckets check out my next video and if you want to get started saving i have a video right up here all about money saving challenges to help you get started saving and you can put money away and watch your net worth grow thanks so much see you in the next video